One of the more frequent questions that we get many times, um, and especially during interviews on radio or television, is what is it you do right after an accident? What's the most important thing to do? Um, whenever an accident occurs, the most important thing to do initially, the very first step, is to make sure that everyone is safe. You check everyone in your, your vehicle to make sure they're okay. You also check around for the other vehicles to where they are located and be aware of where you are at. For example, if you're on the freeway, it could be very dangerous to be sitting there because of other cars coming involvement. But at the same token, remember, the most important thing is to make sure everyone is taken care of and make sure that everyone who is injured is taken care of. And that may mean calling 911 immediately. It's very important that if you're using a cell phone that the first phone call you make is to 911. You do not want to call anyone else until all of that has been completed. The second thing is if it is if you're capable, if it is able to do it, you need to try to take pictures with your your cell phone for example. Take pictures of the vehicle, the location, the other vehicle, the surrounding, as many pictures as you possibly can. But again, after everyone has been taken care of, the pictures become important, license plates become important. If there's witnesses talking to them, getting their name and address, even if it seems like it is a simple accident and it seems like it's very easy to understand, do not assume that because other people can say other things about the accident that may not be true. So you need to make sure that you get the information from the witness. Make sure you get the information for taking down the writing, the insurance, or the, uh, the license plate numbers, or taking pictures. In lieu of that, be careful about one other thing, and that is during an investigation of an accident, please pay attention to what the police officer says and do exactly what he says. If the officer says for you to go to the corner and stay at a certain position and don't walk around taking pictures, please do what the officer says. After the accident is completed, there will be a, a document given to you by the officer that identifies the name, address, phone number, and the insurance coverage of the vehicles involved. If your vehicle is to be towed, if there's something, a lot of damage with it and it needs to be towed, make sure that you have the police do the tow. There it becomes a police ordered tow. The reason for that is if it's not done as a police order tow, then the fees and the charges are not regulated. And there have been incidents in Harris County in which there have been people overcharged for things done on their vehicle at the time the wrecker picks it up and takes it to a storage yard. In addition, as a footnote, when you see your vehicle at the storage yard, do not sign anything. There are unscrupulous storage yard people who will have a long legal sized sheet of paper with several different signature boxes. One of them is for a breakdown of the vehicle to determine the repairs. It is rare that any insurance company will pay for that. My point is, if you don't understand what you're signing, don't sign it. Now, at the scene of the accident, the officer may ask you to sign for receiving a ticket, for example. There's nothing wrong with that. You're not admitting liability at all. All it indicates is you've received the ticket. It could be a ticket for some kind of warning, failure to have the car inspected, something unrelated to the accident. But in reference to signing things at the storage yard, don't do so. If you don't understand it or you don't speak the language, then find someone who can speak the language. And that gets to my point. If you've got an injury or an accident or a lot of questions that you don't understand, and even if you don't speak English, then give us a call. The reason I say that is because in my office we have several people who speak not only Mandarin, but also Cantonese and Spanish. We have the experienced personnel to be able to help you do everything from property damage to damages associated with your injuries and kidding an assessment and even if necessary litigation. The problem is that most people don't have enough information. The best way to solve that is to give us a call. We're here to help you.